Hello everybody, Vic Lombardi. This is my good friend Ryan Green. How life works. He used to be an intern of mine <laughs> at Channel 4. Then he went off and got his own job in Montana. He's been there for a few years. Now he's back in town and we're covering the Broncos together. We're going to do some stuff. Got a lot of great things planned for you here in the next few weeks. Uh, going into training camp at the regular season. So Ryan went out and shot minicamp today, mandatory minicamp. Yeah. Hey, for, for those who don't know, what's the difference between mandatory minicamp and what the OTAs were last week? It's mandatory. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and unless your name is Von Miller or unless um, you've shot yourself in the leg and you, you can't be there. <laughs> but you know what? All this stuff blends together now. There used right. to be a day and age when you were just a little young man. They didn't even have off-season activities. Now it's this and that, and it's all melds into training camp. So you were out there for a little bit. Um, did any player catch your eye, position group you were watching? What I, were you looking for? I'm watching the quarterbacks because that remains the biggest question mark, the most important position going into this season. You know, you just won a Super Bowl championship mm -hmm. and you don't know who your quarterback is. So in OTAs, they shared the reps. Well, uh, today on the first day of minicamp, Mark Sanchez got first team reps. Yep. Then it was Trevor Simeon and then Paxton Lynch with the third team. I don't know if they'll continue with that rotation, but that's what we noticed today, and I thought that was newsy. Other than that, you know, guys completing passes to other dudes without pads or getting hit, I don't care. Yeah, it's grown men playing games, yes. really. Yes. When you're watching guys practice without pads and you're, you're seeing connections to certain people, mm. it's hard to take note of that because we don't know what they're really working on. Right. I mean, it's true. is he throwing to Damaris because he's open or is he throwing to Damaris because they're working on a specific route? Scripted. Yeah, exactly. So that's why anybody who assumes when you're going out to these mini camps, oh, look, what we, we don't know what we're seeing, to be honest with you. So we're at the mercy of the players themselves. So Trevor Simeon won't be starting. I doubt it. I mean, unless something crazy happens, I doubt Trevor Simeon starts. Right now, what you saw today is, I think, the plan they have going into the season. They want Mark Sanchez to handle the job. Right. Now, unless Sanchez vomits all over himself during the preseason, then all bets are off. Did you watch anything on the defense? Take any notes? Or? I, you know, I just watched a few of the new defensive players. I saw a little bit about what they were doing on the defensive line. But, again, I think it's a little too early to truly grasp uh, whatever competitions they may have. I mean, Malik Jackson not being on this team anymore is going to be a void. They got to fill. Mm -hmm. uh, Brandon Marshall was there today, even though Brandon Marshall's playing with that, uh, you know, the, the contract. Mm -hmm. He'd love to have a brand new deal, but he's out there. He's at mandatory minicamp. He, you know, some people may say he shouldn't even be. He's there because he's a team player. I love Brandon Marshall. Yeah, he's good. And um, actually, it's it's the position next to him. Yes. What everyone's concerned mm -hmm. about, and what I saw today, at least for a few plays, is they had rookie. Justin Simmons drop mm -hmm. down and play that position with T.J. Ward and Darian Stewart. So they're going with another defensive back. Yeah, and, uh, which was surprising. I would think if you're yeah. going to drop anyone to a linebacker spot, it would be T.J. Ward. Yeah, that's very interesting. You know, And that's the way the NFL's gone now, man. Mm -hmm. You're seeing three corners on the field most of the time. I wouldn't be surprised if you see an extra safety on yeah, the field. It's all you speed. Yeah. You're right. And, and if all these other teams are throwing the ball all over the park. With Gronk out there. You know, the, the whole nickel, you know, it used to be the nickel was a specialty package. Now it's your basic defense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The nickel is your defense. Yeah. That's about all we noticed today. Uh, yeah. There's a couple more days of minicamp. Uh, Tlaib not expected to participate. And, and if the Broncos follow this wisely, uh, Tlaib should not speak publicly. I mean, they, I hope they don't he, throw him in front of reporters. He should stick to the, I was too drunk to remember. Well, it, it, nothing he says will be good yeah. for the investigation's sake or mm. the team's sake. Yeah. Just keep mum until this whole thing passes by. Hopefully it does, but it could get uglier before it gets any clearer. Mm. It's like the Denver weather.